field of eye surgery, and specifically vision correction surgery, has advanced greatly in the past few years. We have now the ability to treat highly nearsighted people that in the past were not candidates for laser vision correction. And we do that by implanting a phacic IOL, which is specifically the star columnar lens. Colomer stands for collagen copolymer, and it's a very nice thin and flexible lens, which is folded and implanted in the eye in an operating room. We make a temporal clear corneal incision, very similar to the one that we make during cataract surgery, and two peripheral paracentesis. We then place some viscoelastic in the eye, we fold the ICL, and then let it open up in the eye. We then place each of the foot plates just behind the iris, tuck it behind the iris, and then remove the viscoelastic. It's been quite a revolutionary experience for these patients. They are now greatly enhanced by the improved vision that they have without correction. And these are people that in the past have been turned down multiple times because their corneas were either too thin or they just had such a high and severe amount of myopia that laser vision correction was not possible. And we pride ourselves on staying on top of the technology and really providing state-of-the-art care. We were chosen to be a site uh, for the AMO eye design uh, aberometer trial. So it's a LASIK trial investigating a new aberometer device in order to preoperatively evaluate our LASIK patients. This is called the eye design and it's a more enhanced, sophisticated aberometer and really allows quite precise vision correction. We're able to offer a wide variety of surgical procedures for our patients that are interested in refractive surgery. We offer techniques such as LASIK and PRK, but now we're able to offer also the ICL um, for those highly nearsighted patients. And the key is to, to find the, the right procedure for the patient and to make sure the patient is adequately motivated to accept a small amount of risk for a hopefully great amount of benefit.